Hello and welcome to Golden Orb Studios. Today I'll be showing you how to make normal maps from a high poly mesh to a low poly mesh. In this video I'll be using the blank kit add-on. Link in the description for download. It is free. The reason I'm using this is because it has tons of free sculpting tools. Make sure to check it out. So starting off in Blender we'll be using the default cube. Let's just double click to rename that to cube low. And then go to the material. Name that cube matte. And then if you take your cursor, go all the way to the upper left hand corner until it turns into a crosshair. Click and drag. Hello there. And then click the editor type. Click S for shader. Then N to get rid of that. <coughs> and click on the principal shader. Control T. Unplug that. Select all of this and drag it down. And then drag out of that and type normal map. And then click the we aren't going to plug it in yet, but we are going to make an image texture. So click new, name that the cube normal, uncheck alpha, set the dimensions if you want it to be 4k. So you could do times 4 and then it'd be 4k. I'm just going to do 10, 24, and then click OK once you're done, on color. And then with that selected, we'll use it later. Select the mesh. And the default cube is already UV unwrapped, but if yours is not, go to edit mode, click U, and then smart UV project, bring up the island margin, and skill to bounds, and click OK. I'm just going to keep it like this. Select the low poly mesh, shift D to duplicate, and then we're going to rename this to high, and then hide the low. And then go to modifiers, add modifier, subdivision surface modifier, simple. Bring that up, duplicate it, careful bringing it up too high, otherwise it will crash your computer. And then shift A and shift A to duplicate that. And now you can see we have a lot of vertices. Let's go into sculpt mode, and now we can sculpt as much as we want. I'm using blend kit, so click the I to open that up. Go to brushes, and then select any one you want. And once it loads up, you can use F to change the size of your brush and shift F to change the strength and then you can go crazy. Alright so once you're done go back to object mode, unhide the low poly mesh, select it, duplicate it, and then you want to scale it up until you cannot see the high poly mesh anymore. If you have a more complicated mesh then you might want to go to edit mode and just adjust it so that no parts are poking out. And then we're just going to rename this to cage. And once we've done that, we're going to go up here, go back to the shading, make sure the normal texture is selected. Then we're going to go to the render settings. Make sure you're in cycles, otherwise it will not work. Go down to bake. For the bake type, you can just click that, click N for normal, or you can just click it. You can also bake diffuse maps and other types of maps. I have other tutorials on those. And then you want to select, select it to active, open that up, select cage, and then we want the cube cage and keep all of these settings. And then once you've done that, you want to select the high poly mesh first and then control, click the low poly. Again, make sure that the material is selected and once you're all ready with that you can click bake all right it says it's finished so let's go up to the make the crosshair again drag down click i for image editor and you can see that we have our normal map so to see it in action let's just hide our high poly mesh in the cage so we only have the low poly we want to go to material preview and we want to plug in the normal map and just so you can see it better, I'm going to turn down the color. And now you can see that the texture is working how it should on the low poly mesh, which is perfect. So this is all for this tutorial for baking normal maps from high poly to low poly. If you want to check out how to bake diffuse maps or color maps, you can check out the video in the description.